And we are back. Nimrin Deer, Hellwig the Last Warrior, and his crew coming back for uh, some more this Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, so in our last video, we uh, triumphed over a Necromancer, which was kind of a big deal. It didn't go, you know, so, you know, it was a second try at the Necromancer, and it didn't I'll go well. I can do. And uh, we can already see some zombies. We'd identified these zombies previously. It looks like we're going to an, into a graveyard, which, again, I can't help but ask, why is there a graveyard in Market Square? This is, this is weird, right? Does, is this, this should be weird. Anyway, so we're going to go investigate the, uh... Lead on! None shall escape! Well, we were going to investigate. I'm not quite, you know, apparently we're going to get into a fight instead because the zombies saw us, I guess? Is that what's happening here? We got some zombies who, who see us? Um, yeah, all we have are zombies in the initiative tracker, so it's apparently just these three zombies. Uh, so the last time we fought... Oh, gosh. Map. Come on. Um, the last time we, we did this, the initiative tracker was... Uh, I'm guessing... I, I should, I'm, I'm going to go out on limb and say I'm not going to be able to target these guys. It would be pretty hilarious if I can walk Wolja... I can walk him through there? Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna try to walk Wolgif up. And... Because the zombies shouldn't be able to get to him. Oh, look, there's more zombies. Okay, we got, like, four zombies. So... Okay, wait, he can legit hit a zombie already. Um, okay, sure. So I, I didn't do much damage to the zombie, but, you know. But it was in range, and I got my sneak attack off. That's kind of my big thing here. So the zombie slowly plods forward. Another zombie slowly plods forward. See, this is the thing. Zombies actually only get one action a turn. So, uh... Hmm. Alright. Lan, let's go ahead and turn your deadly aim back on. We don't need to maximize hit percentages now. And... Just, just bomb these guys. It's not gonna take much. You crossed the wrong. Well, mark. well, when you roll a one. All right. So even with the damage reduction, because zombies normally you can only cut them, like with slashing weapons, and bows pierce rather than cut, right? So anyway, so first zombie is down. All right, and then we'll have him take his five foot step to walk down the stairs, and in his turn. I'm debating if can Helwig charge? That'd be nice. Can I charge? No, I cannot charge. Oh well. So um instead I'll walk Helwig up this way. So he I'm walking around the long way, but that's fine. So So we'll see what happens when Helwig comes in this direction. And I got a little more movement. Yeah, we'll move out this way. All right. Sela. Okay. Sela can get up here. You know, again, she, can she charge? She may be able to charge. She might have had a direct line. No, she can't charge either. Okay. So. So. We'll move Sela up. We don't want to move far enough forward. We want to move far enough forward that, that, you know, not so far forward that the zombie... You know, I'm trying to think how to say this. We want to move in such a way so that the zombie has to move more than five feet so it doesn't just get a free attack as, as part of, you know, it gets to attack for the turn instead of, you know, moving. Um, anyway. So, uh, Camellia. Yeah, you know, come up here. And just cast guidance on like Wolgif, maybe. That that seems fair. Alright. We'll 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 buff Wolgif. Alright. Here comes another zombie. There's a lore check. Okay. Oh wow, the zombies. The zombies are very slow. This could take a while. Um alright. So uh Ember, yeah, we'll we'll just move you down here. Yeah. So you move down here. Alright. 
And we still have that Divine Zap, right? So sure, we'll cast Divine Zap on... <laughs> he takes up one whole point of damage. She's bringing the thunder. Okay, um... Oh, uh, whoa, 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 uh, whoa, um, okay, that's, that is a much different, that is a much different issue, um, so that is a shadow, um, shadows are awful, um, I'm mildly offended that the shadow is here, uh, I'm curious, it's immune to a bunch of stuff, uh, in particular, um, if you look through this list of immunities that's listed right here, you'll notice it says it's immune to damage from non-magical weapons. Most of my party is using a non-magical weapon. So, yeah. Um, I think Lan's bow shots fortunately count as magical, which is about my only real saving grace here. Um, that's really bad news. Um, yeah, they're... Uh, yeah, undead monsters are awful. Or not undead, incorporeal monsters like this are absolutely awful. Um, okay, so... So, Wolgif, uh, be honest, friend. You can't do much to anything at this stage, so we're gonna... Yeah, we'll do a little damage to the shadow, and then just uh, run you the heck away. Um, yeah, you come over here, because you're squishy. Although, to be fair, you're probably actually one of the harder targets, because the mage armor actually, uh... The mage armor actually helps us against, you know, against shadow attacks. So that that's that's a good thing. Um, Alright, so that's about as far as I want to move him this turn. So yeah, we'll, we'll just stop him right there. Zombie moves up to engage. That's bad. Other zombie moves up to engage. So now... I'm really worried about this now. So let's see here. So I'm going to turn on point blank shot because I always said I want as much damage as possible getting pumped into this shadow. And I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to I'm going to dump a key point too. So eh, no instead I'll dump a perfect strike. So So that's and then I'm going to full attack this guy. So I've got everything I can going you into him. Survive me. Nope, his weapons do not count as magical. That sucks. I thought that his bow would count as magic because of his key. Hmm, I'll have to go look at that. Oh well. Alright, so that makes things a little more awkward. Alright. So. Great. Um, alright, so Hellwig. And I, I cannot get to the shadow. Alright, so... I'm gonna have to move around this way to deal with the shadow, which was not my intention. Eh, while I'm coming, I'll go ahead and see if I can finish off this zombie. Okay, good. The zombie is now... Why did he make a will save? You can't frighten zombie. Eh, well, I'm... no, I guess he can be frightened, because he's not mindless. It's not that undead didn't make him... Okay, anyway... This is this is not good. Um, yeah, my my blood rager ended up out of position for this. This is this is not good. Um, all right. Well, I'm in luck insofar as I did in fact give my paladin um, a magical weapon. So so hopefully we can hurt this shadow. The inheritor. Alright, so we've done five damage to him. That's not good. This is bad. Um, alright. Frickin' shadows. Um, okay. Alright, well, I don't really have anything else I can do to the shadow this turn. Uh, Camellia? I don't really think there's much Camellia can do. I mean... <laughs> I could use the wand to cure light wounds because healing type stuff actually hurts undead, but that seems uh, unnecessary. So I'll pop my spirit weapon enchantment so I can actually damage the shadow. I'll attempt to attack the shadow, miss because of course I will, and then five foot step away from the shadow. Okay. 
Now, the biggest danger is that I have had to put away my shield, so when the shadow takes a swing, it's probably going to swing at Sela. Um, hmm. How much HP does the shadow have? Well, the shadow is still really robust, so probably not. Um, anyway. So, yeah, I'll try a divine zap on the shadow, because it's damage. It's not much damage, but it's damage. Like I said, unfortunately, my raging, my blood rager was out of position for the shadow. <sighs> All right. So, here, you come over here. Like I said, we're trying to get our squishies away. I still can't believe that lands things don't count as magical. Okay, that's handy. Really? The shadow really wanted Camellia, but apparently that five foot step away made all the difference, which is huge. Um, all right. That would be really useful if that would work, but it's probably not going to work. Yeah, I figured the acid splash wouldn't, you know, wouldn't help much. But, uh, we'll move back this way because the zombies are going to be back here soon, so... So we'll just get back into the... Get back out of the out of the primary line of fire. As the, as the rest of the zombie... As the thriller dance troupe slowly makes their way down. Um... All right, well. Endure this. Really, Lan? Wow. He was so put off by the fact that he couldn't hurt the zombie, hurt the shadow, that he's just completely lost it. He has no idea. He's lost. He's completely lost the thread. Um. Okay. So. I have to admit, the presence of a shadow has kind of messed me up. So I'm, you know, I'm not feeling it. I'm very freaked out at this point. I'm not gonna lie. Let's um. Hear you cry. All right. I dealt with the shadow. Whew. That was, um, anxious-making. They said, yeah, shadows are bad news. So, um, if you didn't read everything, so shadows actually, they don't do hit point damage to you. Um, they actually come straight at your ability scores, your other stats. In particular, they lower, they do damage to your strength score. And if they get it, get a character's strength score to zero, that character just straight up dies. And even worse, is going to get back up as a shadow. I think, for that one, it's instantaneous, I think. It may be, there may be a slight delay. Other creatures that have effects like that, it usually takes a few rounds. But I love how that, that one bird just keeps flying over repeatedly. Okay, well now that I'm good and no longer freaked out. Um, all right, Sela, change back into your other gear. Yeah, get your longsword back out. Why did it say attack of opportunity? What? Huh? Okay, wait, what? What just happened? Somebody help me out here. What the heck just happened? Um. Huh? Zombie? Okay. Why did I make an attack of opportunity against the zombie as I got out my weapon? That makes no sense. Game, I think something broke. I think I broke you. Um, yeah, that was really, that was really, really weird. Um, there's no indication in the system why that would have happened. She changed weapons, and, yeah, I'm just gonna move back here. Yeah, 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 y'all can, yeah, y'all can come get me. That's fine. Um, and, uh, Camellia, you just go back into misfortune mode. It's fine. It's fine. Nope, not guidance. Um. There we go. We'll just misfortune this zombie, because he might actually get here to hit something if my die rolls are poor. Um, alright. Zombie wanders up. Zombie isn't... Zom zombies are going to have a very bad day here. Th this is not thriller night for the zombies. Um, sure, just keep up with the divine zap. Yeah, zap that one. Yeah. All right, so, yeah. Um, Oljif? Sure, Cover run up here and right? shank a zombie. Or nat one an attack roll against a zombie. That's also a thing you could choose to do. If you want to, you know. If you want to, you know, sauce it up a bit. 
Whew, at least it wasn't against the shadow. I'm 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 just happy with that. All right, just keep dumping arrows Make into zombies. There goes the zombie. Okay, so yeah, we're just making a pile of redeaded undead flesh here. Um, so yeah, come on down, come on down, land. Yeah, join join the crew. If I move right here, I might be able to get in a cleave. I don't know. Here, I can definitely get in a cleave from here. So. Well, I missed on the second one, but I got the prime. Oh my! Oh, do you see? Do you see that, people? That's oh oh ooh. He got he got hold of the fence, and the fence didn't let go. Oh, okay. That was a little disturbing. All right. I'm glad the ragdolling finally stopped. Okay. So, Sila, can you finish this, please? Thank you. Thank you for critting the zombie. You needed a two to hit. So once I got that nat twenty, it was almost guaranteed. Uh, all right. Nope. God, don't go into the whatever you do. Don't go into the any further into the graveyard. Um, some horseshoes. I, well, I still want to know why a merchant no would pay good money for rusty horseshoes. I haven't gotten an explanation yet on that. Um. So this graveyard is bad news. Wait, what is this? There's who is that? There's a recruit, huh? Right behind our field of vision. What? I don't I don't On get it. My way. He's now just over here? No, I guess we should probably go help him? I I don't know. Is there a combat log that's saying anything's happening? No? No? I kind of want to explore this graveyard that's inexplicably next to the you know. Hmm. All right. Do I have time? This is the. Who knows? This is simple. Uh, there's a lore check. I did it. It happens sometimes. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. If you, embers, it, I did it. It happens sometimes. The dug up graves and other clues indicate that a necromancer has recently conducted a ritual here. You think? Yeah. Go watch the last video if you want to see the necromancer. We hate that guy. He was a jerk. He said bad things about our moms. Putting I'll stuff on layaway. I found something. I feel a little guilty about this, but uh, but yeah, we've got a magic throwing axe. I'm not gonna say no to it. Um, it's probably a better ranged weapon for Sela than than the Lead bow, on. assuming that we can like you know get it back and stuff, but... Hmm. Alright. I gotta be honest, I'm a little freaked out about exploring there any further no over trouble. here. I'm kind of grateful that the map ends, because that whole, uh... That whole deal with the... with, with, with the shadow. They like said, the shadow really freaked me out. They like said, shadows are bad news. And I can't believe that little wooden prong from the wagon, like, is blocking stuff. What? What? So sweet it is to kill. Wow, those. They're just wailing on that guy. Uh. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what that was. Ooh. Well, they they're gonna finish that guy off. Wow. the last one for me. Uh. Okay. Okay. So that happened. Um, all right, so, gotta turn off, uh, oh, wow, did they blow it? did they explode him into chunks? That's gross. Okay, turn off point blank shot. Okay. So, which goal, goal is first in initiative? We'll go ahead and dump, oh, it's a surprise round. Okay, I only get one attack. All right, well. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. So, yeah. We 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 will just wail on some ghouls for a round, probably. Um. So the bummer is that Wolgif can't get his sneak attack off with a spell because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's more than five feet of movement, right? Yeah, that's twelve feet of movement. So yeah, we're just gonna move Wolgif like. Over here. 
Uh, okay. Uh, I'm half tempted. I'm gonna try it. I'll, I'll try to. I can't remember if ghouls can be demoralized. Yeah, they're immune to. I made the check, but he's immune to being shaken. I don't want. I don't want to approach. So I'm just gonna hang back here. Um. Ember. Yeah, just shoot the same ghoul Surrender that Land did. Yeah, good. I think she did more damage than Lan. No, no, only one less damage than Lan. Only because of her strength penalty is that ghoul still standing. Um. Okay. So, uh, Camellia, you can misfortune this ghoul closest to us. All right, he's misfortuned, assuming he can get to us. Like I said, I'm basically just kind of letting the ghouls run at me. Um, all right. And, yeah, no, we, I want her to stand her ground. And once again, Hellwig apparently did not make the perception check, so... You won't survive. Me. There goes that ghoul. That ghoul is <laughs> is in you know is has gone to struggle town. Um alright. Hmm. Alright. The, I did get the sneak attack. Okay, he was still flat-footed. Nice. All right. Okay, so I don't have any movement left, so he's got to stay. Ember. Oh, no, that's Sela. Duh. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Again, I'm just standing my ground and letting the ghoul come to us. I'm not... What? What? Why can't I see the... Okay. That's weird. Ember, why can't you see the ghoul? Um, okay. Can you see the ghoul now? Okay, there was a ghoul, right? I'm not making this up. There was a ghoul there. Okay. Um, did the ghoul leave? He's out of initiative. What in the heck? This is really weird. Um, I don't know what to make of this. I'm, I'm a little freaked out. There, huh? Okay, well, come back here and, like, cast Guidance on Hellwig or something? I, I don't know. Very confused at this point, um, because there's nothing but... Huh? Okay, no, there is still a ghoul in initiative, we just don't know where he went? What? Are we, like, awkwardly waiting for this dude who was killed by the ghouls to get up? I don't I don't get it. Why are we still in initiative? Um, okay, well here, because I still don't understand what's going on here. Sila, have an extra hit point. I'm, I'm very perplexed at this stage. Um This is really strange. I don't know what to make of this, and it kind of freaks me out. Um, he's just... He was outside the fog of war, apparently. Um, I'm, I'm so... I'm so thrown off at this stage. I don't know what to believe anymore. What in the... What in the hat game? Um, Like, if I'd known he was there, I could have charged, but now I can't pick a charge because I've moved. Okay, well fine, I'll just walk back now. Now that I've exposed the ghoul on the map. What in the heck? Uh... Endure this! A bright Thank you, Lan. I don't know what in the heck that was. That was... That was bizarre. That was just goofy pants. I have no idea what the heck that meant. Um... But I definitely didn't like the fact that that demon, you know just kind of turned three people into ghouls who were then able to turn on and kind of eat another crusader. So we're going to save it up before we step any closer to this area. Um, whew. 
All right. <laughs> this is simple. There's a lootable container. Uh, Camellia, pick the lock. Ah, not this time. Okay. Well, how about now? I am helpful. Am I not? Well, you are now. Scroll of enlarged person. That is helpful. Yeah. And a pearl. Okay. Sure. I'll see what I can do. Wojif can... I don't... Thanks for telling me that Wojif can learn enlarge person game. He... I am not teaching him enlarge person. I mean... I think I've got multiple people who can cast it. I'm... I'm like, literally. Here, hell wait. Let's move already. Yeah, here, hang on. You use that potion of enlarge person, right? Here, let's just, you know... Yeah, here. Actually, I've got two more. I'm good. Thank yeah, it's better out of a potion anyway. I can do that with a move action. Alright. No reason to Take pause. charge of Sela again. Lead on. Walk forward a little more. Wow, okay. Well Okay. These recruits have like all kinds of stuff. Um fancy shields. Magic potions. Chain mail. I think those are Cure Light Wounds potions, right? Come on, game. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad for the Crusaders and all, but, you know. But they're not going to be using these things. Um, Is this all... Pardon me. Had a bit of a hiccup there. Um, okay, well, I'll take his Cold Iron Masterwork Longsword. I don't think I need the rest of these people's stuff. Yeah, they're just they were just recruits. Apparently, I'm guessing the Crusader was a paladin, made his save against whatever turned the other three into ghouls, and then and then they exploded him. Rip that guy. Um Okay, so yeah, moment of silence, Sela. This would be great if you would decide to pray right now over our poor slain recruit. Uh we've got a lore check we can make. Um, if I can get to the lore check. Okay. I think I Gray hair, it. ashen skin, this person fell prey to a Nabasu. This demon sucks the very life essence from its victims and transforms them into ghouls. Yes, Nabasus are really bad news. This game is pretty sadistic. A Nabasu, once again, is like an appropriate fight for, like, level 8 characters? I mean, in... Technically, the, yeah, the, the core rules assume a party of four, and I've got six, but still. Yeah, um, I might be able to cheese the Nabasu, but it's going to take some cheesing. Like, you know, make no mistake, if I kill this Nabasu, it's not because of any particular skill on my part. It's the game giving me the ability to cheese it. So, so yeah, that... Uh, I'm, I'm anxious about stepping forward anymore. This looks like it's probably a good place to press pause on the video, because um, going any further that way is going to walk me into the maelstrom. Well, technically the abyss. The maelstrom is like chaotic neutral, not chaotic evil like demons. But you get the idea. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to uh, check out the rest of the Nimrandir Plays Wrath of the Righteous series to see the uh, tabletop role-playing simulation of action that's uh, brought us to this point. Uh, we will catch you for some more demon slaying and apparently undead slaying because we're going to get ghouls out of this next time.